hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing um i uh wanted to talk about what's new i i was watching some tutorials on um uh, youtube about how to make your wig look more realistic so i tried that and i really do like it so i know now i knew how to go in and make the part a little I didn't do it the way they did it because I tried to do it with tweezers and it just didn't seem like it was working for me. So I used a razor, like an eyebrow razor, and just kind of like etched it out of there. So I knew how to do that, but I didn't know how to get rid of that hump. So thank God for um, uh, YouTube. And I did follow someone for that because, you know, I felt like I mean I liked the way she did it and I didn't also want to uh someone to feel like I just come and get their stuff and then go so anyway but you know I I I don't I haven't followed a lot of people on YouTube I don't think and since I've had a channel period so now you know i'm into fashion and hair so i those things i i do follow more than anything so anyway i did cut out the and i left it in my living room i did cut out the um shirt dress now i think i'm going to do sleeveless uh for a number of reasons i might do sleeves it just depends i know i i for one reason why I'm thinking sleeveless is because it'll be summer and but then another reason is I have to find another piece of fabric uh to be able to cut the sleeves out I, I think I do have it around here or I will just have to go and buy some more uh shirt dressing dressing shirt fabric from somewhere but sleeveless I don't, I don't think that's bad with a, a belt I'm thinking, I'm seeing that. I'm thinking that. I think that'll be a good look as well. It just depends on once I sew this up. Sew the main part of it up. And try it on and see how, what I feel. Because it's, it, it won't have buttons. It think, I think it has like a couple of buttons up here. But it's not like a button down type of shirt, of course. Um, but I'll show pictures on that. And my eyebrows. You know, I lately I've been doing my eyebrows. And I'm always like amazed myself because before I would just look at girls and I'd be like, man, they eyebrows be on 110. But I've been taking my time. I think today I got them pretty close. Well, somewhere along the line, I did something now. But I think so. I think I'm really... Uh, graduating from that and I mean, that's another thing i'm graduating from beauty school you guys remember i did that video i don't know where i where i put it at on what platform or did i just have it on my phone uh but yeah i'm graduating from beauty school so anyway i will add to this video i just wanted to get that out there uh my thoughts about what I'm doing because tomorrow is YouTube day I think yes yeah, Friday <laughs> and I always have to go and check my schedule uh, I'm really liking how that's going along I don't know if I I told you guys about that I just made out a schedule a weekly schedule on uh, what I need to do like split the days up which day I'm gonna do this that and the other and so far I'm doing a pretty good job on that. I'm staying on schedule uh, I mean just like interacting interacting with uh, you know my team because I am a beauty influencer with pharmacy so interacting with that you know getting my ideas trying to be motivational uh, doing TikTok, doing Instagram and it seems like so much but I, I'll tell you guys once you do a schedule and split that time up it's really not so bad at first i was like oh tiktok because they say that you need to you know post three or four times a day um, um like five days a week and at first because you don't know what that's all about 
you just like, I don't think I will be able to keep up with that. But for me, I, I just love the platform because it's not like long drawn out stuff you have to do. I mean, you can just focus on one part of your body if you wanted to. Like if I just wanted to do something with my eyes, I could just do that, which I love this look. It's kind of like matching. I had on some eyelashes, but uh, I didn't have one of them down right. So it, it came up and I didn't feel like going back and putting anything on it to make it stay down. So, and you know, it wasn't a look I wanted to keep all day anyway so but I like I said I'm really loving this hair what I'm doing today I had made chili the other day and uh and this is too because I like cooking or trying to cook or whatever but uh the other day I made some chili and so today I had some rig rig uh rig rigacotta cheese I had frozen for a while and I took it down so and then some lasagna noodles so I'm making, I'm using that chili sauce, chili as my sauce for lasagna. It's got beans in it and hamburger in it and everything. But I'm using that as the sauce for my lasagna. And uh, then I topped it with broccoli. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, I don't think I've, yeah, I've made lasagna before, I believe. But I've never, um, I don't know if I really did. But so, yeah, that's, that's something new I'm doing. I'm trying, so. Hopefully it's healthier. <laughs> well, it is healthier because I, I, my chili, I don't like load it with fat. <laughs> I, I use the fat from the hamburger. I don't drain it because I, I just need some fat uh, as if I'm not fat enough. But So, yeah, hopefully um, Saturday uh, I can get on here and do some exercise. Uh I know last Saturday I wanted to, but I got, you know, sidetracked cleaning up and everything. So we shall see. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And um, I shall talk to you again sometime this week. Thank you for tuning in. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.